Hello guys, today we will change the oil in the ATV from Kimco, it's the model MXU450i. Uh, I was looking on the YouTube how to do this and I did not find so today short guide how to do this. So for the, for the tools we will be using, okay, the funnel for the oil, we'll have some simple for $5 uh, oil filter wrench or tool, then 19 millimeter socket, new oil filter oil, and I create something like this to catch the oil. So first, uh, first thing you need to heat up your ATV. I'm doing this for like five minutes, so the, the engine is quite warm already. Uh, then the second point is to uh, unscrew your uh, filler cup, that's when you, take out the old oil, there will all, all will be gone. Uh, next point, the oil filter is here. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, so I always prefer to clean this area out of the mud. And when you turn the wheel right, the area is, let's say, better. The access area is better. So, it's not that complicated, the service will charge you, I don't know, 20, 50 dollars for that. But, but you can do this in 5-10 minutes by your own, so I strongly recommend, it's great satisfaction also. So, let's start. So, I just unscrew the filler cap, and we will go, let's say, on the right side of the ITV. I, I do not use any lift, it's not necessary. So over here, there are two holes and the one on the right have, there is over there, there is screw for dropping the oil. So I will install. Okay, so I always also recommend to, that you use the glove because the oil is quite, quite mess and then 19 millimeter socket and normally it's not that tight and you need to target for the oil to As you can see, the oil was not that bad, but I prefer to, to do this several times during the season to protect the engine. Okay, so let's wait. Oh, it's quite a bit of oil there. I bought four liters, I hope that it's enough. I did not also find the owner's manual. And what you would like to always do, typically there is magnet there. And as you can see that there are some, let's say, metal debris. In this case is, is not that bad. Let me focus. It's not that bad, but you, you need to always clear that surely and always check this. You know, it's from normal wear of the engine. If there is too much, it's too much. The next point which you should check and always replace is the washer here. Uh, because I'm changing it several times during the season, normally I just verify if they are in good condition, if they are not leaky. Uh, here it's perfect fine. So let's go back to the let's go back to the oil. It's still dropping there, but now there's time that we can unscrew the the oil filter. It also can be messy, so I I use some paper towels. Uh, 
I use paper paper towels to put over here, okay? That if any oil go there, it will catch. And then you need to unscrew the filter. I will try to put my phone somewhere here. One handed, I will try. So you tied this chain, and then ah, ah it's moving. So one handed, it's possible to make uh, uh, no, not this time so the procedure basically is the same for all the ITVs I think that maybe there are some small difference where the screw is or where the where the filter is and now we can try with the bare hands normally some few drops of oil will go here ah it does not want to get out ah now it's good no, and we have our filter. So it's always worth to double check if the new oil filter is the is the same. Here looks the same, even the same brand. So what uh, you want to do is take your paper paper towel and and to clean this area a bit but you do not want any debris or any mud to go to go in so I'm making the metal inside out and now now is okay so the next point we take the new oil We have the new oil and what I typically do, I put some drops here, not to lubricate the filter, but I want to lubricate the, the seal that it's let's say oil tight and what you want to do, you just reinstall the filter. I hope guys that you you will see that. So to screw in is really really easy. And typically if you are doing this by your by your hands, it's enough. You do not use any 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 wrench, any force more than your hand. It will be if the seal is new and good, 
it will be enough. So I'm taking out all the towel which catch a lot of oil. in that area there once again I will, I will check and now we can go on so the next point is to reinstall the screw I think the all the oil is out We have few, like two, three liters of this oil. So the next point is the to reinstall the the screw. Uh, you you want to do this by your hands, not to destroy the the thread on the screw. And what I like to do, to, okay, so I go all in, and then you need to clean this area from this, let's say, messy oil. Ah. So the oil you need to give back to special let's say collection area or what you can do you if you have some car service nearby uh, or workshop typically they are obliged to take it back so i'm using let's say moderate force not too much not to destroy the thread so this part is done So after filling the the engine with the oil, you you take your stick and you check the level. Let's zoom in. Seems to be. Let's zoom. Seems that there is an oil. Okay, but what I like to always do uh, the oil is not everywhere in the system so what, what I'm going just to crank the engine without starting up if it starts I, I, I will shut it down so just you do like one more time Shut it down and now we need to check the oil. That's who is how to do this. But typically you, know, you unscrew, you screw it back. And then you check the oil. As you can see over here it's quite full let's uh, start the engine and check if the level is still okay or not typically it will go down a few one two three millimeters uh, that the oil have the time to to cover all the area of the engine so this is how you change the oil so thanks for watching and please subscribe bye